Hey, welcome guys to the show I Have Jokes, where we talk about all the things that make us happy, maybe. Uh, we're creative, we're in the industry. Um, uh, I am, I am, I am about there. <laughs> I am about there. <laughs> I'm so prepared. Uh, and we also talk about notes, because the real name of the show is I Have Notes. My name is Issa Bariola, and with me is my wonderful co-host. It's a me. Carrie, and I'm bringing all of the energy that you want and crave. Uh, but more importantly, <laughs> I'm introducing our two amazing, beautiful, wonderful guests. Uh, as always, Aaron Wynn, very excited to have you back. And you, someone you. who's been there the whole time, but you just didn't know it. <laughs> Behind the scenes. Sam Mitchell. Yeah. Oh, Sam the man. Sam the man. Sam I am Resident. Mitchell. Resident Viking, uh, techno Viking. Oh, yeah, I like yeah, that. yeah. <laughs> so, so this is business cards. So yeah, <laughs> techno Viking. Yeah. 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 <laughs> this is a uh, special edition of I have notes. Do 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 boop boop. Uh, <laughs> we are recording this a little bit earlier than we normally do uh, because the week th that you're listening to this for us next week is RTX week. RTX. Hey! So we wanted RTX. to record a little bit earlier. What that does mean is you're getting some good end of day Friday energy from are, four is of that, us. Is that like, are we gonna level at that vibe? Are we gonna vibe here at the like low level energy? I think. Or I'm should thinking... we fuck it up? Like, do you want to bring it? Do you need it? Do you need to get on like a like a I like think... a hype train with me here, Gary? I think sometimes it's okay to be down here. I but mean, we could go I up here. You want to be up well, here? I'm fine with down here. No, I mean, I'm. I'm <laughs> we could be up here. I'm like hey. low life in every fucking like term, right? So, no. <laughs> Sam, I'm fine with it. Hey, but speaking of RTX, our RTX panel is September 24th at 4:30 Central. It's first only, and it's gonna be featuring Issa, Carrie, Aaron, Jordan. Eddie and Cole. Okay, that's that's. That's, that's all of the high energy I had. Um, <laughs> so now I'm actually going to be lower than Where I was before. Extra low? Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's uh, just just want to put a note out there that Sam says that he's a low life in every term. So. And I don't like that. I don't like that, yeah. Sam. I mean, I'm, I'm there. Trust me. No. <laughs> so maybe, maybe there's, there's some scummy stuff I'm not into, but like... <laughs> I'm okay. Into a lot of scummy stuff, y'all. Okay. Well, like, now, now we need to know where the bar is. I mean, like, is, it is is respect for other people is something I'm not gonna low life, right? But like, sure. Okay. Okay. I see. I see. Okay. Uh, what is something shit, that you I'm will totally low about life? It. <laughs> I mean, just like I, no, and then it was not gonna match with the other one. But I was talking about I was talking with Cole the other day. And like, I don't know if it's some low life shit, but we talk about being mean to people because because it's hilarious. And, like how just like yeah, just how fucking sweet bullying is. And like I know it's not the <laughs> message we need right now, but like Damn. God, just dunking on your friends is like. And I think for both of us, it's like because we grew up and like our friendships were based upon like our, like our entire friends groups were just like let's shit talk each other. That's how 100%. we all became friends yeah. was like, let's be mean to each other, you know? And you, you you do one dumb thing seven years ago. We're bringing it up weekly for the rest of our lives. Like, oh, right, yeah. you know? Uh, and like doing that kind of shit, like boy and your friends is just so much fucking fun. Um, no, it really is. It's just so great, especially like video games. Like, oh my God, dude. Beating your friends at video games, just telling them they're garbage and shit and just, Chef's kiss. Oh, so much fun. Yeah. Oh yeah, God. exactly. Yeah. I oh, yeah. I now understand you explaining yourself in that way. I now understand why there was one game of like um Project Winter that I had with uh my SO and their friends and uh there were a couple of newbies um that were new to the friend group and they had met them because uh they were playing What's that new Riot first-person shooter game? They oh, Valorant? Valorant. Valorant. Yeah, they they met yeah. them because they played Valorant together. So they were they're joining the group for Project Winter, and these guys kept shit talking, 
uh, everyone who they'd never met before, including yep. me, and they were like imitating my laugh, which is like the oh. one thing that I really dislike when yeah. people do. No, well, uh, see, that's and... one thing you don't shit talk people's like la things they can't change. Like you can't change your laugh, right? You don't shit talk <laughs> people's laughs or like wearing glasses or something like that. Yeah. Like you shit talk them for things they can change. <laughs> But they can also, change. That's what you, if you shit talk, like if people are like, oh, like I, I had like, I had this friend, this one friend we shit talk with so much. I don't mean to derail your story. So I'm sorry. But like, it's the, 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 the reason bullying is also a good thing. And this is good. Hot take. Hot take. Oh my God, Sam. Um, I think I'm with you already. <laughs> so we had this friend, right? And like in high school, like when we first met him, he would come over and he would come out of like acting class. And there's nothing fucking wrong with that. Like the arts nope. are great. Like I'm like. I'm all for it, right? Like, I'm probably gonna, we, we'll bust into some improv later. Don't worry, we can all do it. Uh, but yeah. the point is, like, I, we I'm knew already. he didn't fucking like it. And, like, he was with a group of friends there that was like this, you know, and this is 2005. So it's yeah. like scene kid as fuck, right? He's wearing eyeliner oh, and shit. Yeah. And we would just bust his fucking balls about it. And <laughs> the thing that happens with people is it boils down they are not willing to defend or bring anything up that they genuinely don't like because they know they'll be no matter what they will be fucking ridiculed for it so mm. it boils a person down to only the shit they're passionate about and then you oh don't have God. any fake person left you 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 bully the fake out of your friends and then you got great friends. That's why I've had the same friends since I was a kid. Yeah. Oh my we've God. Just, this we've is, hurt each other. We've point. just brought all of it out where it's like we don't bullshit any, each other anymore. We're just like, it's like, look, I worked hard on this. I'm like, I don't like it. You're dumb. And we're like, nah, let's get a drink. Like that's yeah, works, right? Like, well, if I was like, go with life. If I was like, how many, how many fucking shoes do you need? How many legs you got there? And you'd be like, I like shoes. Yeah. Fuck off. And I'd be like, okay, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, but you know, you, there's other shit where I'm probably not gonna stick with it. You know, be like, yeah, you're right. That does suck. Like, <laughs> but yeah, that's life. Wow. Also, fucking, can we talk about how most crimes are dope as shit? Like, <laughs> okay, oh, all right. This is the last time y'all did a crime. Like, <laughs> shit like, is so good. Sam here. I was with you. Okay, now we're talking like some petty, petty, petty. What yeah, are we talking? Petty. I'm not talking like murder or nothing. I'm well, not talking about yeah. like people are you, gonna, are you talking about like property. jaywalk? What? Yeah, jaywalk is sweet as hell. Like, dude, driving oh. fast, cool as fuck. Like, not don't put oh people in danger. Not dangerous. But like, you know, like I'm just there talking are safe about, ways to drive so, fast. Yeah, like it, I mean, there's so much stuff you're not Allegedly. supposed to do that's cool as shit. And yeah. yeah, I mean, and also like you can't breaking the law is like I they, our country is a piece of shit, but I do love it. <laughs> And breaking the law is one of the most fucking American things you can do. So, oh my god, you gotta do it. <laughs> breaking the law is hella fucking American. Oh, like, oh it's my literally god. like America is founded on being like, nah, fuck you, government. Like, fuck you, I fuck mean, you, agency. Like... Right? Like, there, there are boundaries, but yeah, it's just yeah, yeah. No, I'm Sam. I feel like you're one of the kids in high school that would argue with your history teachers about like the dumbest shit. I mean, maybe, but also I didn't go to school, so I didn't never had that. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, got, yeah, that's right. So pranked. I don't know. Pranked, yeah. um, and when you're in college, you. you can't really pull that one. I feel like they don't care. They're just like, you're paying it. I don't care. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. You can argue with me. I wow. Don't, yeah, I, I, I will say that like I'm, I'm definitely one of those people that's like, oh, my car registration's out. I'll get to that. Oh yeah. yeah, that's me, one hundred percent. Being one hundred percent honest right now, uh, I <gasps> have my new sticker. It's been six months. I haven't put it on. It's just sitting there. Hey, like, I, yeah. Okay, I did my registration recently, and I still haven't gotten the sticker. Yeah. I'm like getting a little oh. anxious. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I know the USPS is having Government's some issues, slow. but yeah. What, what are they yeah. gonna do? I don't know. I don't want to get arrested. They're I'm not like, gonna arrest you for that. And no, they're not. <laughs> There's I more important worry. shit going on. I worry about the yeah. dumbest shit, to be fair. That's See, that's nice. that's the I worry about imp like important stuff, I guess, but I don't worry about most anything. Like something like that. <laughs> I wish I, I wish I it's had also, that level. For me, well, for me, it's in like I'll I'll grant that is entirely privilege. I've learned one thing. Like after I hit like probably twenty five. I don't know if I've been pulled over. Like, 
Mm. I just am so mm. ignorant. And it's, I mean, it's because I'm a white guy. Like, they see me and I'm just like, check it. And they're like, oh, God, he's pale. <laughs> leave, leave, let him be. Let him be. Let him be. <laughs> and like, Move along, sir. That's, yeah, that's the thing. It's like, you know, I, you just, so. I don't know. No, that's fair. I, I'm not yeah. fucking worried about any moving traffic violation anymore, and it's insane. Like, I yeah, it's it's like it's to the point where it is. It's pretty shitty because like I drive, I want to say like a jackass, but I break a lot of fucking laws. I use my blinkers religiously. Yeah. I don't drive <laughs> no. fast around other people. I don't yeah. fuck around when traffic, but like oh at night when there's no one around and shit, like yeah, I go fucking twenty over. I don't give a shit. But oh my God. Yeah, yeah, only twenty. Like, I'm never gonna oh, ride well, in a car with yeah, you, Sam. No, I mean it, when okay, other people here. are in the car with me, I drive like 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 an old grandma because that's okay, me hey. putting somebody else in danger. Hey, hey, Sam. Allegedly, ha what's the fastest you've ever gone? Oh my God. I'll, uh, I'll tell you. I'll tell you how fast I've gone. Like, yeah, like one thirty. Allegedly, -ish, probably. I, I I hit one thirty. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. I stopped oh, because that was when I found out that my car had a, I think, a governor in it. Oh, yeah. <gasps> and the Most engine did. just stopped. Yeah. <laughs> um, but that was, yeah, that was like teenage years. I don't know. Same. Think I yeah, really I was in high school. That fast anymore. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, the only time I ever get to know more about Sam nowadays is whenever I'm on a recording with him. And every time Sam says something about himself that I never knew, I just go, oh. <laughs> In my head, I go, all right, this is another yeah. piece of information to file away about yeah. Sam Mitchell. <laughs> I mean, I think a lot of people I meet usually in, especially, like, I've had it happen moving into, like, Rooster Teeth, like, a handful of years ago. It's working with more than, like, five people on a daily basis, a lot of people get the impression they're like, that Sam guy is weird. Like, there's, like, there's, and, <laughs> okay, I'll tell a story about this, this situation in a little bit, but, um, and like I've had it at, at work, and people are like it happened. I think on an episode of Chump or something like that. Uh -huh. Afterwards, because I told like this is like oh yeah, like I kind of grew up in like a cult, and then I was homeschooled my whole life, and I never went to a classroom until like college and shit like that. And they're like, man, I thought you were weird, but like it adds up. The math is there, and I'm like, yeah, yeah. Like I'm not like there's not. It's not that I'm not weird. It's just like do the fucking math on how I grew up, and you're like mm, that that adds up. Yep, that's that guy. <laughs> Sam, right? this is but, literally. The first time I'm learning about you being in a cult. Yeah. Could yeah. you talk about that more? Is that weird to ask? <laughs> it was just some I'm weird Christian now. shit. You know, uh, oh, I, no. it was super, it was super Jesus-y. It was in Colorado. Um, and yeah, like, keep in mind, we left this when I was like six-ish, I believe. Okay. So like, I don't have a lot of memories. So it was Stone Go Temple. Ahead, keep it that way. There was, a, there was like a two-story little like Stone Temple that sat maybe 50 people in a field. Uh they like women couldn't wear pants they had to wear dresses it wasn't like they were nudists or anything like that yeah. it was just like okay, you know <laughs> only that women don't cut their yeah. hair they don't go to doctors i don't know why okay. like what oh, the fuck Jesus is this Christ. but uh, yeah some dumb shit like that is. um yeah, some that very awful. like adam and eve stupid shit and uh yeah so I, I did, did they think like hillary clinton it. was like the devil for wearing a pat pants suit or something <laughs> <laughs> uh probably i mean yeah. knowing like any today this would have been like a gun militia i'm sure but yeah and then so oh, we moved out of that and then like my parents mainly my mom was like well that was wild we're not getting back in any of that shit <laughs> that's but good they didn't want to like abandon religion and also my mom didn't want to buy other people christmas gifts so then we were jewish for the rest of like my years which is like yeah <laughs> And like, not yeah, I'm, we're not touching on anything anti-Semitic here, but there is a lot of humor in deciding to be Jewish, not to buy other people Christmas gifts. Yeah. In like, yeah, it is, yeah, it is, it is, it, yeah. She didn't do uh, the the community a lot of favors with that one, but I am really glad for that experience because, like, luckily with that, and then like them kind of being a little religion hoppy, I got to learn a lot about other religions and other stuff. I might like you might not get in your normal experience, like, yeah. like you know, from that, like. My fucking favorite type of bread is challah because we fuck with challah on like all the Jewish holidays, right? So, and it's like there's some great things yeah. and like that. That for me always gave me a perspective. Like, 
it get into other fucking cultures. No one should ever just be like, no, I'm Christian and I'm going to stay here, eat this cracker, drink that wine, nothing. It's like <laughs> you're missing out on so many dope things. Like, Boring. I am not a religious person, but I love to take a peek inside it and see what's going on. Like, what are you doing in your church? What are you guys eating? It's mainly yeah. what you eat, let's be honest. Like, that's the only yeah. thing I really give a shit about. Like, you got some crackers and juice? Like, nice, nice. You know, it's like, maybe if I find a church where they're doing some, like, real hood rat shit, like, you know, they got flats in the back and stuff, like, I'm, I'm done with that, but uh, I don't really want to fuck around with you know the religion oh, part i just want to see what you're eating there oh my Give me god some of those matzo balls and stuff but yeah Sam, the, um, the more the more the more you talk the more and the like the more i've gotten to know you like i'm just realizing how much we would have been like friends in high school if you'd been allowed to go to high school oh 100 um, yeah, probably because <laughs> like you're you're like you just keep saying like oh yeah i'm weird i'm like are you like n not really <laughs> like i'm mean, like every, yeah everything you're like, saying about like yeah just like your entire friend group being about insulting each other is like how i grew up <laughs> I mean, if you could make somebody, like, the ultimate victory was, like, if you're playing a Smash and you can make someone rage quit, like, you won the day. Yeah. Like, that is, that's like, all that is fucking... how you actually win Smash, is that's... to make somebody rage quit. That's all Alex, my roommate and friend since high school, that's all he fucking does is play Bowser, grab you, and go off the edge. <laughs> yeah. That's all he does. Yes. I was, that's a friend for life. Yeah. I was gonna say, yeah. Carrie, when you mentioned like you and Sam would probably be friends in my head, I'm like, yeah, yeah, Sam would fit really well with you and Alex. Yes. Do y'all need a third roommate? Yeah, yeah right. Yeah. <laughs> All we ever did was like just joke with people until they hated us and then they ended up liking us somehow, strangely. <laughs> I mean that's yeah, that's kinda how it worked. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> hey guys, this episode of I Have Notes is sponsored by Marvel's Avengers. Marvel's Avengers is an action-adventure game where a young Kamala Khan must reassemble the Avengers to stop AIM in a future where superheroes are outlawed. Combining an original cinematic story with single-player and co-op gameplay, Marvel's Avengers delivers new heroes and a new narrative on an ongoing basis for the definitive Avengers gaming experience. Assemble up to four players online, master abilities, customize a growing roster of heroes, and defend the Earth from escalating threats. Available now. Embrace your powers. Visit playavengers.com for more info. So this is our uh, audience. This is Sam. Yeah. <laughs> what a great yeah. introduction. Um, uh, <laughs> hey, Sam. the producer for this show, one of. Yeah, there you go. So you want to talk about what you do in your day-to-day? -day? <laughs> I make the thumbnails and stuff. I don't even know. I've been in this <laughs> job and industry for so long now that, like, I don't in. I have no fucking idea what I would do if I wasn't doing this. Like, I started this... I started a screw attack about a decade ago, oh, so yeah. like I have no Jesus. idea like what to do. Like I don't even know what resumes is that what you call them? Resumes? I don't know what they look like. <laughs> I ain't fucking touched one in a decade. Like I don't. Resume. Yeah. Resume. Yeah. Resumes. Um. <laughs> for I, sure. I, uh, I have like, my my much. backup is a uh, is a uh, crab fishing. I love yeah. Deadly's catch, okay. so I can't. Have you actually gone crab fishing? No, I can't swim. <laughs> uh, I can't oh, yeah, swim. Oh, yeah, that's true. So really? I, I don't go on boats a lot. I tried. I'm too dense. Uh, I just, I just think. <laughs> You're too dense. I too, yeah. It's a, I mean, it, it's a, it's a fun double entendre there. Uh, I just, just, um, but I, I feel like, look, if you, if you're in that cold water and you fall off, there's no point in swimming. You're done for anyways. I, give up. I just I just like Deadly's Catch a lot. But no, I've never I mean, been crab fishing. But I would just freezing go Freezing to it. death, probably better than burning to death. So it's yeah. easier to accept, I'm sure. Um, uh, um I brought this we had a we have like a weekly creative meet. Uh and I brought it up when it was like a small group, and then eventually people trickled in as the meeting started. Um, but I think it was like Noel, Sam, you might have been there actually. Like you kind of just snuck in. Uh Saku, Noel Wiggins, and Joshua Kazemi. And I was just like, yo, you guys ever think about like doing something like what your what is your plan B if like Oh yeah, this doesn't work out because it has been like uh, a, a time for us for each every individual one of us, and uh, we definitely came in like oh god, and I fantasize about just applying for like eighty five degrees that's near the Kino Kunia and just being like, yeah. can I just be a cashier because at least I know I'm good at customer service. <laughs> I like I'll get tips. You get lots of tips if you do cashier stuff. Like I was a seasonal Dunkin' Donuts employee, and so it's just like, like, 
I just, I just the simple life of just like manual labor of being at a cashier and asking people what they, what kind of milk they want in their coffee is just like that's that's me right now. Well, it, like I, it is definitely <laughs> we are all in jobs in this field. In general, I mean, this whole field is is volatile, especially with like COVID. It's like you never know like mm -hmm. what's what's going on now, but like my entire life is answering questions mm. and really and i do really sometimes just dream of like somebody just tell me what to do oh Some, my god somebody just tell me just like tell me what to do and i'll just do it and like l let me just listen to music for four hours and just like yeah. like uh, let me go let me go like i'll go work at amazon come here daddy bezos i'll just go and, <laughs> and throw boxes around and scan stuff like i'm not saying it's an easy job but it's a different no. art, and I think I could maybe use that for a while. I don't know. That's my like whenever I'm at like my like, tiredest. Oh yeah. Yeah. My, my my biggest thing with that the concept of like another job is that you get to like go home and that's it. You're done. Like you don't. Yeah. Like yeah. there's never a point where I think any of us like stop thinking about the next task for work because we have yeah. like undefined roles and tasks and all this bullshit. It's like when you're serving tables. Like I served tables and worked in bars for a long time before. Like that's what I did my whole life before this point. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, you just, like, you do your job, you show up, you're like, okay, you need a fucking beer, and you need some fries, and we're done, and then I go home at the end of the night, and that's, I'm, I don't think about work at all until I'm back at work. Mm -hmm. And that's great. It's That's the fucking dream. Like, you just don't think about work. Whereas with this, it's like, I've not not thunk about work for the last decade, and I'm just fucking tired about think. thinking. Well, here's my yeah. thing, and I wonder if this is why we are the way we are, why we're in this industry is is that what would happen or are we all the kind of people that would then go home and be like i wonder if we could rearrange the tables to to have a better flow you, like like I are mean, we are was... we just those people because like when i'm when i'm super excited about a project and like i like and like i'm into it i love the fact that like i'm always thinking about stuff it's only when i'm tired that i'm just like yeah i just want to turn my head off yeah i don't know i think we're, yeah. I, I, what i'm trying to say is i think we're broken yeah. <laughs> i think that we're broken bad people and that we'll, we're going to do this no matter what. <laughs> yeah, maybe a little. I mean, maybe but... a little. Aaron, were you going to say something? Oh, uh, I like how y'all are like, your plan B is just like the total opposite of what you currently do. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm so in, in twisted with art. Mm -hmm. Like it would still, my plan B would still be art related. I think mm. I want to be like a I tattoo mean, I artist. I feel like, oh, or, yeah. Tattoo artist. That's, yeah. that's cool. Yeah. Or an or art historian. You can Ooh, just probably go really like to like. It, here's well, here's this. Like you could just be like, "Hi, I'm Aaron Wynn, art director for Ruby." Now the furry commissions are open, and you just go live on an island. For <laughs> also, that I like, you could probably okay, you Alex... could probably legit double your salary with furry commissions. No, Espe like, especially because you have the fucking so accolades behind you, where you can crush it, like. <laughs> So much money. So like, I, you don't even oh, have to worry about your second job. Yeah, you're there. This is true. You could be the first Alex furry tattoo had, artist. Yeah, cash money. Alex and I like, have had this conversation world, like, just... so many times. Yeah, like he he always like slack me or come up to me at the office and be like, "So when are you gonna start those furry commissions or those? Oh my um, god, <laughs> are those like hentai commissions? That's because he secretly like, wants Alex. it. Yes, oh, yeah." It, yeah. I kind of accept that. Okay, just before um, before you go to your island to do your your furry and hentai uh, commissions, can you can furry you island. can you ink me up first and then go? Because I would <laughs> oh, yeah, I would course. love an Aaron Wynn tattoo. Do you want some furry hentai tattoo art on you? I'd like you to separate those two things though. <laughs> okay. uh, I don't know that we need to combine the furry hentai and the tattoo. I think we could do just uh, the if tattoo. If I could find them, would I get even more money? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is, there a, is there a market for both? Yeah, you just you set up a you thing like, it. hey, I got no morals. You want you want some weird furry anti <laughs> shit? It. I'll do it. What, is, what does it's... morals have to do with like naked animal? I'm, I'm animal sure there's some, there's probably like a handful of tattoo places that will be like, I ain't doing that. But you're right, probably. I, I mean, a handful. There's nothing. I don't think there's anything morale like the, like testing That's your true. own I mean, guidance you... maybe but like there's nothing morally wrong about drawing an anthem before no 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 no, 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 no. Wolf person, like, furry I, advocate i know no no furry i know some people... i mean i just an advocate of like fucking right like get dirty like <laughs> yeah. whatever it's not it doesn't hurt people i don't care what a... like what you are who you're doing or what your parts yeah. are like if there's consent and everyone's yes. having fun 
Who gives a shit what you do? Well, there's like, some tattoo artists that like won't do shit. I will say, did y'all see the the fucking video? I can't remember if we talked about it in here of the uh, the guy who got the TikTok logo tattooed under his face. No. Mm-hmm. It was like it when they thought it was closing this. down, he got the like the the TikTok T like right here. And there's just a video of like the tattoo artist finishes it up, leans back, and the guy getting tattooed goes, "Is it lit?" And the tattoo artist just goes, <laughs> "I mean, it's what you asked for." <laughs> Yeah, that's good. Good lord. Good. I mean, I mean, and there's definitely artists yeah. that will be like, no swastikas, nothing, nothing right. like that, no right. hate symbols. Well, yeah, because that's some bad shit. Yeah, that's, that's bad. some bad like, shit. No, there's okay. nothing. There's, but, there's nothing fucking, wrong with there's like furry hand you know, tattoos. I, but Aaron can make yeah. it her specialty. Yeah, I, I'll be the first. Yeah. I can't a say I've seen like is a symbol of hate. That. A wolf dick is just some like. That's that's your fucking thing, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. Like, it, it's not a symbol of hate, so whatever. I don't care. Yeah. So, oh my god. There you go. Now, if it's a swatska made out of wolf dicks, we'd have a problem. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah now yeah, we're yeah, back yeah. in the problem zone. Exactly. Um, exactly. <laughs> yeah. That we and this found, is where Sam you know, doesn't want to be. We found the no. area that's bad. No. Do you have tattoos, Carrie? Or are you just like... No, I don't yet. On it? I keep, I keep no. wanting to. Do you want some? Yeah. Oh, you should definitely do it. I was I was just about to get one and then uh, oh, this shit happened. Oh, this. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. really need to get one of mine touched up. And I've been waiting for like a year, and I was like, "All right, this is I'm gonna do it this month." And then COVID happened. Oh no! So I was like, that oh, sucks. So wait even longer. And I'm, itch- I'm itching for it. Yeah. I I I used to be so like methodical and thought out about tattoos and be like, I think I know what I now want. Like I think about it a lot. And now now I'm at the point where I realize. This is absolutely not what you should do. You are yeah. going to yeah. grow up and think back on your tattoo, and it will uh. not be, ever be as perfect as the time you got it, and it doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. So just get some shit that you, isn't like bad, and you're, you're good. So just just get, just get the TikTok logo on my face. Maybe not that. Right there. Like, <laughs> right there. That's that's you one. <laughs> I mean, Sam has one keep it off judgment. the major stuff, like just <laughs> not the face. Yeah, Issa, do you just have any? I do. He does. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I always thought that was just Sharpie, and you did it every week. Yeah, every yeah. week, every day, <laughs> I would do it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh man, actually, um, fun fact: I uh, I've been warning my mom for the longest time. I was like, Mom, I'm gonna get a tattoo because it's it's very tied to. It's tied to something very significant that happened um, that had happened when I was uh, growing up. And so sure. I was wondering with mom, like, hey, I'm, I'm going to get one. I'm going to get one. And she's like, I think for the longest time, she didn't she didn't want to believe it until I took a picture. And then mm-hmm. like an hour later, my sister texts me and she's like, Papa's really mad. And I'm like, what is he going <laughs> to do? Disown me? I live in Texas. So it's a. Uh, uh, they, Undo. they love me still. Undo. Undo. <laughs> the the good news is they love me still and they got used to it. Okay, that's they good. can't do anything about it. Yeah, that's how my parents ended up. Yeah, that's like, right. My dad's always been super chill. My mom's like always joked about disowning me if I ever got one. But like maybe a week later after I got it, she's like, oh, all right. I feel like if your Too parents, late. if you if you have the kind of relationship with your parents where they can joke about disowning you, they're not going to disown you. This is true. <laughs> one would I... <laughs> I have like uh, oh no Sam I would say <laughs> older than normal parents um, I do too actually so by the time uh, the similarities continue yeah uh, <laughs> like by the time I got I was eighteen I was like I don't think I'm gonna get a tattoo my mom was like you know, I always thought I wouldn't get ever get tattoos because when I got old they would look bad and then now my skin's all wrinkly and it looks bad anyway so I probably should have just got tattoos anyway yeah. so you just go oh, do it hell yeah do it right you're gonna and look like so, shit when you're like, old. Like, yeah, I got my first tattoo, and I was like, oh, that's really cool. I like it a lot. And I was like, damn, my mom's so supportive. And then, like, I got my second tattoo, like, I don't know, like, a year later. She's like, mm, that's fucking ugly, B. Like, it was like, <laughs> oh, shit. My oh, God. God. oh, shit. <laughs> I have the most loving and also meanest mother ever. It is, uh, she just hey. shoots straight 100% of the time. Like, you know what? Yeah, she's honest. Yeah. yeah. And okay. in some ways, yeah, that's way the most too loving. Way fucking honest. But yeah. Oh, that's so your mom funny. bullies you like you bully your friends. <gasps> that's where yeah, you got I mean, it from. Not, it may be, but I don't know if it's bullying. She's just like she'll call me. Like she'll call. She's like, yeah, Dad, I watched the podcast the other day. So you've been gaining weight, and I'm like, bitch, goddamn, oh, what no. the fuck is this? Like, she's just mean <laughs> as shit. But 
She's loving the Damn. Yeah, I mean, damn, ma. We'll say she's great, though. <laughs> Wonderful woman. That's very <laughs> straightforward. Yeah, I, I make sure to send her this her. Yeah, the center yeah. this one. No, not this one. No, yeah. no. I don't <laughs> send her shit. When I get my tattoo, I will not show it to your mom. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. I mean, depends how good it is, man. We'll, we'll see. see. <laughs> we'll see. What's uh? Because we normally we never did this on Friday. What's everybody up to this weekend? Hopefully, disconnecting from work and chilling. You better. Yeah, at this point. Ugh. <laughs> oh. Please. Something about this week just has been the worst. I don't know. Oh, uh, it's because we had Monday off and the whole yeah, week yeah. got compressed to four days instead of five. Yeah. That's probably yeah. uh, it. It's fucks just... the, it fucks the whole thing up. Um, yeah, time time is a uh, time is subjective. <laughs> time is a man made construct. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if if it says that uh, a human on average eats twenty three spiders in their lifetime, time says, <laughs> oh, if on average you experience this many horrors in one week. <laughs> This oh. is it. <laughs> also, anyway. I, I really don't want to eat that many spiders. So I hope it's. Really <laughs> yeah, that's not as many as I thought it would be. <laughs> in a life, really? A twenty-three I in mean, your life? I feel like this is also just skewed by like ten motherfuckers who are really into eating oh, that spiders. Eat spiders for right? like a yeah. living. Like and it's like this guy just ate seventy thousand spiders. They yeah. bring it all up for us. Like fuck. Like, oh yeah, I'm a I'm know. a spider breeder, and uh, I don't cage them. No, no, I don't cage them. No. Um, they live in my belly because it's warm, and then they come back out. <laughs> I'm their tauntaun. I, I I used to be afraid of spiders. I don't really say afraid. They just I didn't like them a lot. And then I had one of my cars get infested by spiders. And let me tell you, that is the cheapest uh, confrontation therapy I've ever had in my life. Like, oh it's my, just like well, oh my now God, every time you want to go anywhere. You're fucking Spider-Man, but no, like, I, no <laughs> with the spiders, like oh, we got hella chill by the end of it. Like you know, they would stay on the passenger seat. And I'd be like, "Sup, fam?" They'd be like, "Not much, just you, you know." How, how, how do you not? <laughs> how do you not just immediately set your car on fire? Uh, because you actually can't do that. That's, like, yeah, that's I mean, fair. <laughs> like you have a job and you have of to get to work and shit. Yeah, that's fair. I don't like what. I would have loved to if I was wealthy enough, but I was poor as fuck. Like, I'm going to just throw a car away. So, yeah, you got to keep driving it. Um, oh, man. It was funny, though. Everyone knows uh, our, our dear other anim producer, dev producer now, Austin Harper. I picked him up uh -huh. from Fort Worth. I and I knew, like, we had to get back. Like, we had to get, like, 40 minutes down the road. I knew he was Sam. not going to get in my fucking car if I didn't tell this man about the spiders. Or if I told him about it, he was going to Oh, no. Sam, no! So... <laughs> And, and so what happens, the spiders would go into the dash and, like, the the, the the AC vents and stuff, right? And But once the engine got hot in the front, they would start coming out. So it's like, by the oh, time, like, you know, we pull out of his apartment complex and get on the highway. And then he's like, dude, there's spiders coming out of your vents. And I'm like, I know, dog, just don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. They're chill. <laughs> like, it's just like spiders oh, are like, don't turn the fans on. They will go in your face. Like, <laughs> Okay, hang on, wait. Lot. Okay, now I got to I got two things: size and amount, density uh, of spiders. So <laughs> what happened was my car was on like a grass lot under a tree in like a kind of countryish area. Oh, so you made a spider like home three months? Well, yeah, three months while it was it was broken oh, down. God. The alternator was fucked, uh, and then finally. We replaced the alternator, uh, and, like, after the first drive, I was like, man, my car is dirty. The hood is, like, it's a white car. The hood's, like, fucking brown right now. And then I was like, oh, why no. is the dirt on the hood moving? What the fuck is going oh, on? And, oh, like, no. and then I went outside the restaurant. I was in, like, I was at, like, the front scene out of window the first time I drove it. I was like, damn, that's dirty. And then, yeah, I was like, those are spiders. Oh, no. And then I went, looked inside, and there was the white little crabby boys that do this thing. Um, and then there was... There was uh, some little jump friends, which uh, would have been jump. worse. And honestly, the, the, the little jump guys friends. that do jumpies, like, I think they're, they're not wolf spiders. They might be wolf spiders. They do little hops, though. Um, no. And they're a little fuzzy. But see, the other thing that made this whole thing more tolerable is that this is an old Mazda Miata. So you can put the top down. So you would, like, the, the little jump man would get on the dash, and he'd be like, I'm going to get you. And he'd be like, Froom, and he'd be like, goodbye, <laughs> motherfucker. Like, yeah, so it was it was okay. You just took Good the top Lord. down, and like that was, that was actually it was really funny. I think it was driving with Austin when it was still infested with spiders, in because we had the top down because yeah. it really helps with the spiders. Um, and but it started. It's not raining, a sense that like, should exist. <laughs> 
I mean, you gotta get some hood rat shit. Sometimes. You were saying being, that like, too calmly. Oh, like, <laughs> being in like, I was never truly like impoverished because like I could have always sucked up my pride and asked like for help from my parents and they gladly would have. But like sure. for a, a good time of college, like I just you know I was too proud to ask for help and that kind of shit. So I was like genuinely pretty fucking poor, right? I lived in a, a like a thousand six hundred square foot house with I think it was five other adults two children and oh. a dog and two cats right like and a million was, spiders yeah it was it was it was disgusting um but yeah uh it, it was like it was like man nothing nothing really brings you into a depressed space like having a mm -hmm. 130 square foot room in a house full of fucking terrible people um but there is some shit about being poor that is so much fun and you have the most <laughs> dumb adventures because like if you're doing well, you can just be like, nah, I'll just fix this problem. But right. you're not, so you have to get in the car with your buddy and have the top down so the spiders don't attack you, but then it starts raining <laughs> and you just have to drive around in a fucking, like, thunderstorm with the convertible oh down, like an asshole, like you're on some sort of shitty motorcycle with your friend. And, like, it's great times. Just thinking back on it, like, I was, that was a shitty day, but now I look back on it, I'm like, that was some fun shit, like, good times. Oh my god. You get I... to the gas station, pick up your steel reserve pal down play some games later it's awesome it's i think i think it's good to at least live in like one shitty place like this is fair in your life just because yeah. it like you know and and obviously again white dude uh it, it might you know yeah. my shitty's not necessarily going to be as shitty as everybody else but i mean like yeah the first place i moved into is infested with bugs and i fucking hated it uh but definitely you know uh toughened me up a little bit in terms of the <laughs> bugs uh crawling on you all the time uh and now i still hate bugs go figure <laughs> i didn't yeah. i didn't have the same experience you had i didn't i didn't i never refer to them as my little jump buddies my little well jump buddies. when you spend some time with them they get better but yeah. that's the, the one bug that fucks with me is cockroaches and i just oh. moved to this house a little while ago and we got fucking cockroaches oh and god no I'm i am pushing the confrontation the other night it, it, it's been my nightmare for a long time laying in bed just like i know these motherfuckers no! are somewhere it's pitch black bam motherfucker and i grab them oh! i'm like i feel them and i throw them against the wall and then I, like i flick off <laughs> well i should say i should do the story first right so i could not fucking sleep because my girlfriend was out in the living room and she's watching this new hbo show about like the east side rapist which is just like I, you know, I don't really fuck You know, with the, good, like, good comfort yeah. TV. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It is the most, like, and then she's, like, she's to the point that night where she's, like, we take the dogs out. Like, I'm too scared to go outside uh -oh. in case the side rape is of out course. there. I'm, like, yeah. this is, like, finish the documentary. Don't watch it. This is insane. Uh, and, like, I watched part of an episode with her, and I was, like, fuck this true crime shit. Can't do it. And, yeah. um... And, like, the whole time they're talking about how this guy would bust into people's house and he would always bust in on, like, couples and he would, like, blind them with a flashlight and while they're in bed and he had to be, like, holding a knife or a gun. And then, so, anyways, it's that night. I just am laying there. I can't sleep because every time there's, like, a tree shadow on the window, I'm like, it's him. Like, you know, and yeah. <laughs> then this fucking cockroach lands in my fucking beard and I throw him against the oh. wall and I grab my phone really quick and I point on it and I see him. He scuttles away, this little son of a bitch. Oh and God. then I get out and like, I'm like, I got to get him. And I know like right near the, there's like a, the patio doors are like right in front of the bed this way. I was like, I got a little flip flop that I keep there for like, just, you know, going outside when I have to take the dogs out. So I was like, grab a flip flop and I, but I turn on my phone light and then I'm like, wait, my girlfriend's in this bed. If she sees me with a phone light and a flip flop, oh, no. just like the east oh, side no. rabbits, she's going to lose her shit. So I got to be super sneaky. So I'm like sneaking around the room, trying to keep the light down. Like, where's this bastard? I can't find the fucking cockroach. Like trying to smack him. <laughs> For like 30 minutes trying not to wake up my girlfriend because I know if she wakes up she's gonna <laughs> scream and think I'm the East Side Rapist. It's a fucking terrible situation. <laughs> and that's yeah, that was that was like my fucking Tuesday or some shit. So this is life's life's rough. Something has sorry, this is this is something has ruined me about being in animation where now I just think about the ability of like I just wanna take exactly what you did and put you like in the middle of like a subway car or just like just having you like oh, where is he? Where is he? Like, I just want to change your background on you because that would be incredible. And also, fuck that. Fuck cockroaches falling I mean, in your face. Yeah. No way. I think 
I think this is one of the, like the little nice parts about being in like this medium that we're currently in as a podcast too. Anytime I have some bad shit happen to me in my life like that, even though it's not that fucking bad, it's just a bug in the stupid situation. Yeah. I'm at least in my the back of my brain, I'm like, well, I'll talk about this shit on podcast sometime. It'll probably be funny. <laughs> yeah. Like, like at least I know people realize like, this. It gives yet. you a free silver lining to everything that's shit. It's like yeah, oh my everything. God. I have noticed it's just therapy for us. That's all it really <laughs> is. Good talk it out. It's just for us to complain about things that don't matter, and we're sorry, but hopefully it's at least a little funny sometimes. <laughs> I if you I, I learned this I learned this from my first apartment. If you if you think that you have like a bug infestation and you really want to fucking freak yourself out and check, set an alarm for like three or four in the morning. Oh wake up and turn on your flashlight yeah. and just look around the room. It's no, thank you. <laughs> Not only are you guaranteed to have a bad night's sleep, you will probably have a worse one when you find all the fucking bugs. Yeah, oh that's how you know, God. and it's bad. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Everything mm -hmm. hurts. Yeah. Well, let's talk about not... I don't have a topic. I just any, literally been, anything been, that's not bugs. I've been hitting people with this one recently because, like, it's just on the top of my dome constantly yeah. right now. Um, Top five pastas. Like, top what, what five What are like the best pastas? Because I think a lot of people sleep in life. They're just like, oh, grab this fucking pack of angel hair. And angel hair... I know this is a hot take. It's offended a lot of people. Fucking trash pasta. It's I hate angel hair too. It's so yeah, dumb. Yeah, it fucking sucks. Like nobody's it's doing so anything thin. interesting. Like we're sitting here. I, like in my tops, I got I got bucatini. That's just a thick spaghetti with a hole in it, like a straw. It's so saucy. It's so I have to do good. some googling. Google Hang on. These, yeah. yeah. You get, How do you like, even spell that? Some shit like that? A bucatini? I mean, it's one of those Italian words. You just gotta go for it and hope Google's got your back. <laughs> All right, yeah, they do. Don't, don't worry. Know. Hey, don't yeah, spell yeah, it like yeah. book. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's, it's oh, a, they're like it's fun little straws. Yeah, they're they're fucking nice little star straws. Oh, huh? Like udon. I mean, or I mean sl gnocchi. Gnocchi. Those little pillows from heaven. Let's talk about this. Gnocchi. Oh yeah, pillows don't be fucking with gnocchi. I love I love some. Give me I love starch some pillows. Mm -hmm. Is lasagna we a pasta? Lasagna is well, a pasta. Yeah, well, lasagna is a pasta. pasta. It's square pasta. It's, square it's pasta. big square pasta shape sheets, which I think is more interesting than a lot of people give it credit because everybody's just doing the one thing with lasagna, but the technical lasagna pasta, I bet if you tried to think outside the box, we could be doing mad interesting stuff with a big sheet. Do you like I a like an appetizer, like a little small, like single single one? You I mean, do we're it vertically. In the era of deconstruction, yeah, you could do that. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. Can, I can tell Aaron is impressed by how much knowledge and passion Sam is talking about this. I am. Pasta. I'm in awe. I mean, <laughs> if y'all don't fuck with starch like I do, it's. I mean, this is so good. <laughs> don't fuck God, with damn, starch. I like... Whoa, I what love, is this? I mean, pasta? I love carbs myself, but Jesus. yeah, they're the best. Um, I'm more of a bread kind. I was of gonna say, Aaron's, oh, Aaron's see, a bread. I love bread. Well, yeah. that's that's when you think about pasta, and it is mind blowing because you know bread came first, right? Somebody had this sweet loaf. They were like, "Look at this. This is great." And then they were like, "It's the best we've ever done." This is probably like I don't know. How could it possibly be better? With, 30, 36, 3600 BC, right? There's this guy. He's made bread. He's like, "This is so good," and somebody's like. Man, you know what? I'm gonna change the game. We're gonna make it really long, <laughs> real thin. And he's like, that yeah. sounds weird. So we're gonna make it hot. He's like, I can get into this. And then we're gonna make it wet. And I'll be like, mm, we're not doing whatever weird bread idea you've got. I don't want. Yeah, no, but don't, don't worry. Macaroni like, in a pot. Don't worry. We're yeah, gonna put like, so much fucking salt in it that you would never believe that it's yeah. still edible. And it's Pretty gonna be much. Great. I mean, it is wonderful, but the base concept of long wet bread. Just sounds so bad, but <laughs> pasta is amazing. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> that's what it I is. Mean, long wet bread, like it's too bad. It's yeah. fucking terrible for you because I love it. Uh, it yeah. yeah, ramen, udon, also, beer, those are in the noodle list. Beer is um, just liquid bread. Yeah, is it not? Yeah, a lot of beer is liquid bread. bread. This is why bread is the best food. It's, we were talking about how the 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 seltzers are getting out of hand right now because like yeah. everybody yeah. got them. Oh, Shiner just started one. Uh, the 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 barefoot they have they have seltzer wine. Hey Sam, I, I got yeah, that we fucking downstairs. Yeah. I'm gonna try it tonight. Hell yeah! Yeah, <laughs> people are just they're losing their minds with it. And like that is they it is literally we could if you could be like it's bread seltzer that is beer. Like, yeah, it is. We're at the same. We've, we've gone around. I, I was at the store and I saw Barefoot Wine Seltzer and I went, this is fucking ridiculous. It needs to stop. And you I'm going to try, I'm gonna try I, it. I, <laughs> Carrie, I, through this whole podcast, I figured out we are the same fucking people because I cannot go into a place and like 
Weird. not try the new soda or not yeah. try the new drink thing on the shelf. Like, why would you not? Or if there's like a new candy bar, I'm like, I gotta fucking try it. Like, I, I, yeah, even if it's like a brand I don't even like. I'm not even thrilled about. It. I just gotta like. It's like the cheapest new experience you're going to have in a day. So you might as well get it. Yeah. It's it's like new experiences are generally like, even if they're not great, it's great to have that experience in your repertoire. So you might yeah. as well have fucking experiences. And that boils down to buy the dumb bubbly stuff. Like I got yeah. truly <laughs> lemonades the other day. They were truly not good, but I'm Yeah, truly is awful. I still have <laughs> some. Yeah. Yeah. I actually blame yeah. Cole for that. I, except for pickle beer. I'm not going to oh, fucking try pickle beer. Um, Sam, I, yeah. were you convinced to try pickle beer? Yeah. Sam, no, where, you at, with pickles, where are you I at vis-a-vis with pickle beer? I, I haven't had it, but I'm sure it's fine. We used to do, yeah. in the bar I worked at, like, our bar shot was, like, whiskey, <laughs> no. like, wickles. Like, so you do the whiskey with the pickle back. So. Wickles! <laughs> yeah, it was, it was That's a That's it. a really good villain name for a kid show. Yeah. yeah. Wickles, yeah. yeah. No, I was going to say, it's like wickles. the wickles. <laughs> yeah. It's also, like, yeah, wickles is a good oh, cat name, too. I could, I could, I could. Come here, Mr. Wickles. Yeah. Oh! Fine. Yeah, Big cat name. that's pretty good. Just don't oh, don't I've, slam Mr. Wickles. I've been mm-hmm. wanting to get a hairless cat and name him or her Perry Wrinkle. Oh, that's like my one life Perry. goal. Oh my god, that's Aaron. cat named Perry. Oh, that's Perry your Wrinkle. one life goal. Oh my um, god, Aaron. Nobody that's steal my one idea. Life goal. Wait, this is your one <laughs> life goal. Can we can we step back? Can we do like a little stop yes. here on Aaron? You have one life goal, which yeah. is so achievable. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And it's to get a skinless cat named Perry Winkle. It's Friday. By Monday, you could be done. Somebody yeah. send me a hairless cat. Yeah. I saw a hairless uh, cat sponsorship. I will take it. I think it was on Reddit. Maybe two, I don't know. So I got a dog uh, shave for you, but that's. I thing. saw a hairless cat who had gone blind or something wrong with their <gasps> yes! eyes. So they, they took out oh, their I eyes. Saw that. It, it, I have was, to find this. it was like a zombie cat. I mean, it was beautiful. It's like the most metal, metal looking cat. Yeah. yeah I'm going to find it and drop it. In it's it, it it's like unsettling. It just looked like a cat skull, yeah. Yeah, it's like it's unsettling, so cool. but like strangely beautiful at the same time. Yeah. It's so weird. I don't know. I don't think I could do hairless cat. I I love I fur. The cat's petting. name is Jasper. Yeah, I feel like Jasper. I feel like a, a the pet name. wouldn't be as good. But also, I think it's weird Apparently that people very talk about. It, uh, that could make sense. They got like a little like a like a the peach fuzz tuck, fuzz. But Yeah. The, the way people talk about animals, I always think is weird. Like, you oh, can goodness. you can talk about animals, and like oh, I want this kind, I want that kind, and you just say some wildly weird shit. It's like oh, German Shepherd, those are mean dogs. Like you just like literally just generalize an entire fucking species or breed yeah. of an animal. And it's like if if you ever talked about fucking people the way you talk about it, dogs or cats, it would be so fucking unacceptable. Yep. So I always think yep. it's weird when people are just like, "I only want this one kind. I only mess with gold retrievers. All their dogs are lesser dogs." And I'm like, "Fucking a! Like, what is this shit? You can't say lesser Sam, dogs." Sam, you say this that, but there's legitimately people like that, and they're called racist. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. Like, but I that, that's why I'm like, I'm not gonna be dog racist. Like, I'm just like. Okay. Dog like I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. One, well, I know, like I'm a little more of a cat person, but like I'm just gonna go to the to the shelter and like just see what cat I vibe with. Like I'm not gonna yeah. be like, mm, I, I this, need that's this color, or that it. fuzziness, or something like long hair, short. I'm just like, do we vibe? Like you nap? Do we vibe? I nap. Like, we vibing? Yeah, yeah like, I, it's <laughs> I. Yeah, if I if I spoke the way that I did about pickles about people, I I <laughs> yeah. I would not be here, and I shouldn't be. <laughs> But cats and dogs are sentient. Like you could shit talk a pickle because it don't. You're not gonna hurt the pickle. That, okay, that's fair. Feeling. You like, slap a cat, the pickle like, around. Somebody, I just somebody, think it's weird. I, somebody summed it up well uh, once. But it was like, I don't. And, and this is not true for everybody, obviously. But like, I feel like cat people are like, oh yeah, I prefer cats. Uh, they cuddle, and I don't have to take them out. And you know, uh, I just prefer oh. cats. But I like to, you know, dogs are dogs are cool. And then dog people are just like. Fuck cats! I fucking hate cats. I'm gonna let my dog eat my cat. (laughs) I don't like. That's just been my experience. Oh, there's 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 Jasper. Jasper or Jasper? Jasper. Jasper. J a s p e r. So fucking metal. He is very cool. Yeah. I just want to look at him. Yeah, I. Interesting. New six member (laughs) Jasper. New six. Yeah. New six member. Stash Chan. Jasper. Yeah. Yeah. We could just take off Stash Chan's hair. (laughs) And then give me a, a hairless oh, stash can. Put can's glasses on top of Jasper. There we go. <gasps> and then that, you take that'll cover up the best part, this. though. 
this is true. Oh, yeah. I just like like Jasper. The next time we do any animated project that has like an old witch or wizard, like Jasper's that that their pet, one hundred percent. Like yeah. that Ooh, guy looks like yeah. he could just be chilling with like a witch, but he, they they best friends, right? Like, oh yeah. Wait, this is the this is the much darker. This is the gritty reboot of Kiki. Like, <laughs> this is where we yeah. are right here, right? You know. Well, and you realize like halfway through that like it's it's they have like glass eyes, and then like the wizard takes one of the eyes out and uses it in like a a concoction. Yeah. Like the the ring was hidden inside there the whole time. Oh. Yeah, like Gary, you see Jasper, you... like, and I'm just like, you sure he ain't a Horcrux? Like, I don't know something about that cat's <laughs> mystical. Like, you know, because he got he got mystical Gary, vibes. Think... Carrie, you mentioned you like uh, wear back, right? Mission what? Right? You liked wear back the dinosaur movie? Oh hell yeah! Professor Screw Eyes. Oh yeah, oh, like yeah, exactly. Screw Eyes. That's what it is. God, that's Professor such a Screw not good Eyes. movie that I love. Yeah, that's terrible. <laughs> that's such a like genuinely bad movie that I really like. Also, it's one of those movies that has like kind of a scary ending, or at least yes. ending to a character. Like it's he in just that gets, uh spoilers he gets eaten by like crows yeah it's just like a bunch of yeah. a bunch of birds descend yeah. upon him and and so the whole he's got a screw eye the whole movie yeah. and then a bunch of birds just descend on him and then they leave and just the screw eye falls onto the ground and that's it it's so cool and then it's like roll credits this is a kid's movie uh <laughs> i feel like a lot of to, kids movies uh, like you know had that do what a lot of kids' movies in our generation had like that one scene that was fucking terrifying. Sure, Tarzan. There's a yeah, Tarzan, yeah. like Lion King, fucking even Fungoli, Anastasia. Like Anastasia. Oh, yeah. There's, There's uh, so many things. If you want up. a really good laugh from a, a oh, like, sister production, Funhouse did uh, a GTA Five video not too long ago. That it's called uh, the Don Bluth podcast, and they just talk about how just all of the Don Bluth movies are just fucked up, and just that whole era too. Like uh, not him, but like uh, Brave Little Toaster like yeah. it's 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 all fucked the the beginning of land before time like our generation yeah, yeah. just had all these movies that were like yeah hey you know like, what we're gonna I do at the very beginning so sad yeah we're gonna make you really sad i mean it's up it's yeah i don't yeah, yeah i don't know it is up yeah yeah it's i mean i guess it makes you more invested yeah up i fucks you love up those in movies. the first three minutes yeah <laughs> But then, but now, yeah, but, and this is what they're talking about in the podcast too. So now I'm just, we're just, I'm just repeating that episode nice. to y'all. <laughs> uh, but like the emoji movie is just like, we look back at like the land before time and like the brave little toaster. We're like, oh man, that was like, you know, made me think a little bit. And then you watch the emoji movie. It's like, ha poop. <laughs> it's poop that talks. I don't know. I'm, it I'm is. tired. I'm judgy. On, on your point of regurgitating a podcast though. Please. I, I've I've wanted to do it for a while where you just have we have a podcast where we just do other people's podcasts for an episode. I could do that. Like you Easy. just I think maybe we should do a Don special Luth run podcast. Of that. Here we come. Yeah, that could maybe be the Don Bluth. Yeah. We can, we'll we title can do it re, re off uh, the spot. Hyphen. We can do on topic. We can even do oh. always closed. Like we can just like go oh. through them, right? Like just okay, put tiny twists funny. on them, we're fine. I'm set. Oh. I'm ready. Oh my god. I'm ready to do it because you know what the best part about that is is I don't have to think. I can oh, I can yes. finally just be the puppet that I want to be. <laughs> and just just Don Bluth makes scary yeah. movies. You ever watch like, like Pinocchio and he's like, I'm a real boy now, and you're like, Yeah, that was your bad move. You fucked yourself. You should have yeah. seen the puppet so much easier. That was your first mistake. Let me tell you from first hand experience, being a real boy kind of fucking sucks. Yeah. Right? Not, hey, guess what? Next year, taxes are due. Deal with that. Yeah. We're not gonna fucking tell you how much you owe, and if you get it wrong, we'll arrest you. It's true. Yeah. Or you could be a puppet and sit on a shelf and have people like you. But then lie sometimes, I guess. I don't know. Mm. Um. I mean, if Toy Story's told us the exact opposite. Oh You'll God. sit on a shelf and people will forget about you. Oh, yeah. Toy what's your purpose in life? Toy Story fucked up my concept of object permanence and inanimate <laughs> objects. And to this day, like, I will still sometimes, like, I'll crush a soda can. I'll be like, I'm sorry, soda can. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think that's why a lot of times I like to treat stuff I use a lot like a little caricature, like, or yeah. something like that. Like, you get stuff. Like, you don't want to, I don't know, like, it's also, like, I think it comes from, like, just not having a lot of stuff at one point. But, like, respecting objects and stuff. Mm -hmm. It's just, 
may be a good same thing with computers you don't want to be too mean to them you know in case they pop yeah. off on you one day can, so yeah it's same with objects you don't like can you don't i tell you all the toy store rebellions got a really lame and embarrassing thing any, anytime i like reinstall windows on my computer i just like i put my hand on i go thanks computer and then i reinstall it because <laughs> yeah. I, th I, I thank you for all the times that you've you've helped me out it's like the Marie Kondo kind of stuff. There's this like, and I do think, you know, your life's a little better when you, if you give up that kind of ground to like give something a little bit of your emotional oh, yeah. permanence, it makes things more important to you. And that's like yeah. the good thing. Mm -hmm. The good thing about life is having shit that's important to you. If you have nothing in life that's not important, you, it's probably fucking lame, right? Yeah. So, and who cares what that thing is? Like, if you like a fucking knickknack on your shelf a lot, that's fine. Nobody gives a shit. Like, as long as you have that enjoyment in life and that level of liking so yeah hey, give some you shit got all those foot coffins behind you and you love them yeah, foot <laughs> coffins. Coffins. Yeah. they're foot coffins they're more they're more like they're more like thick socks they're like oh they're yeah there you go socks you got those like, leather socks. Socks. these are big daddy socks right here that's what you got <laughs> but yeah so are are flip flops uh, just open caskets for your feet? I don't want to talk about the trash shoe. That's flip flop should be out of the here. Trash flip flops. How <laughs> Sam? Flip -flop Sam, would you like that. would you like me less if you knew that most of the time I went out of my house now I wear flip flops? I mean, I got I think some this, socks. The, oh, you can't see socks on with sandals. Hell yeah! Oh, hell inside yeah! Inside, there you go, Aaron. internet. What is wrong with you? <laughs> The best part Why? is now like, now I can go to Celebrity Feet and Aaron's sandals will be on there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's okay. oh, my alternate uh, job what? selling feet pics on OnlyFans. Yeah. I would 100% sell feet yeah. pics. Sometimes I check to see Yo. if I'm on Celebrity Feet pics just to see if there's a market. And I'm like, oh, okay, no, <laughs> yeah. not yet. Uh, we could joke about OnlyFans. In my experience, it is so hard to set up. Like, mm. I, I was trying <laughs> to make experience? one for a grip. Yeah, it, I got like I, I got like my authentic because you have to authenticate. I got denied like five times. So it, 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 what? It was I was trying to make an OnlyFans account that was just pictures of actual like ceiling fans and stuff. Like I was like, <laughs> that's funny. Funny man. Make an OnlyFans funny that's man. actually about fans, and they were like, you have to send your ID in and shit, and like, yo, oh, and they were just like, yeah, nah, uh, we, fuck you. sir, we like, need a we need a picture of your ID next to your exposed wiener. Um, <laughs> yeah. We need to know that this is a legit uh, member. Yeah, and so <laughs> my only only <laughs> only fans account did not take off. Uh, it never yeah. spun up. Sadly. It, it was not Maybe sending your driver's license to a corporation was not worth the joke. <laughs> oh no, I did. They just didn't want to. Like, oh wow. I okay. Don't know why? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I gave them all my information, and they were just like, "Nope, you've been." denied we cannot authenticate wow. the account and i was like what is this shit like just go to just go to twitter and blast them that'll fix it yeah yeah, yeah exactly maybe so uh what i got from this was um make sure you guys uh go to sam's only fans account once he gets it set up for yeah all i'm your, giving up uh, on this I'm not gonna all, set all it your up. all your good fans all those good fans <laughs> well we'll just make our own website called nothing but fans nothing but fans that's but good fans? The, uh geo no, oh, nice. <laughs> geocities.com slash yeah. nothing but fans. <laughs> um thanks no we're for... gonna keep it classy angel fire come on yeah. oh! <laughs> good old angel True. fire i'll i'll code the whole thing in html and notepad by myself <laughs> <laughs> the flex uh, the flex uh that is our show thank you guys for tuning in thank you carrie aaron and sam for sharing course. your time with everyone. I had a great time, especially that because was I experience. got to learn. Yeah. I got yeah. to learn about Sam. Thank you, Sam. And just listen, listen to. <laughs> there's in, in between Sam's stories, there's some good nuggets of advice. Just yeah. make sure you read between the lines, everyone. <laughs> yeah. yeah, thank you. At the I've beginning, a lot. we talked about uh, high and low energy. You brought what I could only describe as Sam energy, and I liked it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I liked it. It's... I did. It was good. A good, a perfect way to end my Friday. A perfect uh, way. Speaking of, uh, not Friday, but uh, what day of the week is it? Speaking of Thursdays, uh, Issa, what's something that you could do two Thursdays from now? Or next uh, Thursday, depending on when you listen to this. Remember, guys. Do, do, do you talk about the panel. <laughs> okay. Oh, 
<laughs> almost seamless. Almost. Uh, remember, guys, September 24th, Thursday, 4.30 Central Time. Uh, join us, San Sam, but plus Jordan Swears, Eddie, and Cole. Uh, we have a first only I Have Notes panel. It's live. It's going to be as chaotic as you think it would be. And we would love if you could experience the chaos. Experience <laughs> us. Experience, Experience us. us. That'll be the subtitle. <laughs> Uh, yep. Sam Sam approves. Yep. He's, he's not I can't wait to see Sam's mind. thumbnail for this week. Oh yeah. Way. It should just be a picture of you, Sam. Yeah, normally it Sam really Sam makes the thumbnail while spiders. we're recording. Yeah. yeah. So I'm I'm excited to see what happens when he when he has to think about it a little bit more and like <laughs> like 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 just state with it. I mean, you know, like you've had all this time be, to think. It's probably gonna be pasta related. I would like that. <laughs> Like maybe I was gonna say, do your like, OnlyFans, do a sexy. You said, fan. you said, you you said Sam energy earlier. Like I, I've always thought, like the the encompassing, like the level of like what I like to like the vibe I want to bring is like charcuterie in a very seedy alley. Like that's my shit, right? Like I want some like low life, like high touch shit where it's just like that because that's where you are. But I can't think of that thumbnail. Like you, I you can't want think of you that. want. So it's probably lid. just gonna be. It's probably just gonna be bucatini, Which... the the starch straw or the carb straw. But you know. See now I'm just imagining like a really nice like wooden board, but then just oh, a bunch of lid. bunch of like oh, lunchables dumped, dumped dumped onto them. So it's like you had the right idea. Nah, I think the charcuterie is. I see. That's what I'd rather. That's the point. That's everything I get behind. It's like, I want the nice. Like, I want to pay for the, the meat and the cheese, not ah. the board or the atmosphere or that kind of shit. Like, I'd, I'll make my own atmosphere with my friends in a seedy mm. back alley. I just want some nice cheese. Right. You want the high-quality meat and cheese, but you don't care if you're eating it off, like, the ground. Yeah, like, a, some, like, yeah, the, uh, yeah. like a fucking old trash can lid that's been carried around by a rat. Like, whatever. <laughs> that's, you know. I, I'm honestly, I'm in the same boat. I'm in the same boat. Yeah. Yeah. All right. That's the thumbnail. Okay, Thanks, we're everyone. Done. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye. I love you.